Right, I'm going to go and play golf here at the Marriott Worsley Park. I'm going to try some new golf balls. And it's these. Tailor-made TP5 picks. The design on this golf ball is supposed to give you better alignment when you put. It's a normal TP5 golf ball, which I've used in the past. And I do like the TP5s, in fairness. I'm going to go and play some golf, see what I think of them, see how I play with them and see if this crazy design on the golf ball can actually help me play some decent golf. Right, so I've got to the first tee. I'm going to play some golf with these. And this is the big thing that Taylor made a saying with these, better alignment. So these little logos on the golf ball, these black, orange and grey little logos, apparently when you put with them and you line your ball up, it gives this clear pathway. We've seen brands do something similar this year. Callaway triple track in particular. But this is now reckon it's doing it in a different way. And also these picks, they have used this design before on golf balls. And apparently, I don't think this exact design, but it's supposed to help you with one, identifying your golf ball, and two, it's supposed to make the ball look like it's spinning more around the green. Let's play some golf, let's give it a hit. I'm definitely gonna test it on the putting green because I'm intrigued to know what that alignment's like. I've got an actual proper TP5, which I'm gonna cut in half and see what is inside the PIX TP5. And also I think I'm gonna give it a little test against the triple track ball too. So on the putting green. Right, let's kick things off with the tailor-made TP5 PIX. Okay, first shot with the PIX. Now tailor-made aren't particularly the first company to do patterned golf balls. I think Callaway was probably the first with their Atruvis golf ball doing different styles. But apparently this is now to help with alignment. Let's give it a hit. Let's see how it performs. I'm sure off the tee, it'll be no different to a normal TP5. And that is boomed. Straight down the fairway. Let's see what it's like into the green. Okay, so we're on the green in two, and the ball spun just like a normal TP5 as you'd expect it to do. Um, on closer inspection, this pattern, so you've, you've almost got like two halves. You've got a straight out black and gray triangle, and then on this side, all of the black and gray sections are towards the inside of the golf ball. And then on the outside line, each one of those are orange. Again, that pattern happens on the other side of the golf ball. So on the two, let's say, north and south pole is a black and grey one and a black and grey one. And as you get more to the equator line, these orange lines come in and it's a bit more of a clear pattern. So basically, you're supposed to, to help with the improvement, that's what they're saying, or to help with the alignment, line it up with the TP5 logo and those orange lines effectively give you, let's say, some sort of a runway. Different to triple track, but along the same lines. Right. Let's see how I got on with line it up. It does, you know, it does seem easy. I use the line on the golf ball anyway. Just have a quick look down that line. I use the line on the ball anyway. But as you can see, you just start to see these orange patterns working. So when I put my club down, I kind of, yeah, you know what? I can kind of see that runway. Right, let's see how I've done from here. See if my alignment's any good and I've read the put correctly. Maybe slightly under it. Ball felt good though. TP5s I've used in the past and it does feel like a normal TP5. Right, hopefully a par on the first. I'm gonna play a few more holes to get the feeling. And then I'm gonna chop it open and compare it against another couple of balls too. <laughs> That's pretty good. So 
so far, I've played a few holes with the TP5 picks, and I really like it. It's just like a TP5. It's good off the tee, it feels soft, it spins well, it feels great with the putter. All ticks. And really, it is a TP5, but with this new pattern on. But just to double check, and this wouldn't be a Rick Shields golf review if this didn't come out. Be careful, kids at home. This is a standard TP5. Let's just make sure that they are actually the same golf ball. So this is the inside of a normal TP5. You've got your five layers, that's where the name comes from, and that is what is inside a normal one. Let's just double check what is inside the picks. I'm expecting the same. Let's check, let's see if it is exactly the same inside as the normal TP5. Yeah, it is. It's exactly the same as a normal TP5. I'll just get that one back just to double check. Yeah, it's literally a TP5, but just different pattern. Right, I'm gonna play this par three down the hill. I need a new ball. And then I'm also gonna get on the green and compare it against the Chrome Soft triple track. Because then again, that is another putter promising you to be easier to align on the putting green. Right, let's play this par three, see if we can get it close. Okay, granted that wasn't my best tee shot on this par three and I've come short of the green. But if I'm honest, it's actually quite a good time to now compare it to another ball that promises it to make it easier to line up your golf ball. So when you put in, you can hit more targets. It's this, it's the Chrome Soft Triple Track. Now I've used this and I've done a review of it and linked in with the putter. I think there's a really good kind of combination there. However, when I first ever saw Triple Track, it was shots around these this kind of area that I found a bit of a concern because let's say that ball just lands on the ground and that's perfect there. I'm going towards the flag there, yet those lines are aiming nowhere near where I'm aiming to. And if anything, it can actually be quite off-putting. What I'm noticing on the picks, because it is more of a symmetrical pattern all around the ball, it's not as offensive. Wherever it lands on the golf course, I don't feel like the ball's lined up the wrong way. I'm gonna compare these two on the putting green, see how they line up. Let's just hit these two chip shots, see how they feel. So again, on shots like that, when that line just isn't aiming the right way on that triple track, I just don't like it. It just really puts me off. Where, as I mentioned with the picks, because it is that symmetrical pattern, I'm not that offended by it. Right, on the green, let's see what they like to actually line up to hold the putt with. Right, I've got a straight putt here to this flag. And we're gonna see how much of a difference it is, again, lining triple track up to this TP5 picks. Let's see on the straight putt. Let's go, let's go picks first. I'm using the line on the golf ball, the TP5 line. And that to me looks pretty good. Yeah, that, that's not bad. I'm just right edge of the hole. I'd give that kind of a nine out of 10 for efficiency of lining up. Okay, triple track, the red line, then kind of bordered with the blue line. I have liked this when I've lined up in the past. It's very difficult to determine which one I'm actually lining up better. They're they looking so unbelievably similar. Both, in fairness, give me confidence that I'm lining up at the right, the right way. So when I set my putter behind the ball, I'm aiming in the right direction. So TP5 first. It does look good. I like the kind of border. It's not too offensive, yet I do feel confident I'm lining up correctly. I just hit that too hard. And then the triple track. You know what, I do like that a lot. And certainly when I used it with the triple track putter, I loved how kind of uniformed it is. I do love that lining up on the putting green. That is, I'm a big fan of the red and the blue lines. And like I say, the only thing, didn't hit it great, the only thing I don't like about a triple track is when it's at a random place on the golf course, it's not lined up correctly. I think there's options here. Golf ball manufacturers are obviously start to bring out options of colours, of different feels. Price-wise, the tailor-made TP5 is around £40 a dozen, where the Chrome Soft does come in a little bit cheaper. I think the good balls, I think people who struggle with line-up putts could definitely benefit from them. 
If I was to possibly use any as an all-round ball between these two, I would have to give it to the TP5. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. I'll see you next time.